I am going to do a few examples from today's assignment. So it's broken up into four parts because the probability test will also have four parts. So the first part of the test is all about likelihood. So these words here are going to be your answer options for this part. All right, so number one, what is the likelihood of a die landing on four? Dice means two or more. Die is the singular version, which means you just have one number cube that you're rolling. So on a die, there are six sides. Of those six sides, one of the sides has the number four. So our fraction would be one sixth. You might be able to figure out if it's impossible, unlikely, etc. If not, in a calculator, do one divided by six, then move the decimal two to the right, and then compare the percent, okay? So zero percent is impossible, 100% is certain, exactly 50% is equal chance, anything in between zero and 50 is unlikely, so 1% or 49%, and then anything in between 50 and 100 is likely. Okay, so this one would be about 17%, so that one would be unlikely. Spelling does count, so make sure you pay attention to how you spell it, and also do not type a space at the end, because if you add a space, it'll say it's wrong, okay? All right, let's scroll down a little bit. Part two, you need to answer with a percent. <clears throat> All right, what is the probability of a die landing on three? A dice has six sides. One of them is the number three, so one sixth. Hey, that was the same answer up above. So in a calculator, we're gonna do one divided by, that's like the fraction bar, one divided by six. We get 0 0.16666 dot, dot, dot. Then we're going to move the decimal two to the right. Boom, boom. So it looks like 16%, but because this next digit is five or higher, we're going to add on one. So it will be 17%. <clears throat> okay, so for all of these, get your fraction. Do top divided by bottom. Then move the decimal two to the right. All right, part three, independent probability. So this is where you have two or more things that happen. So you need to find the fraction of this and the fraction of that, and you multiply them together. So what is the probability of a die landing on three? Let's just stop there. So getting the number three when you roll a die would be one sixth. Then having a coin landing on tails Queen has two sides, and one of those two sides is tails. So we need to do one-sixth times one-half. So we multiply straight across. On top, one times one is one. And on the bottom, six times two is 12. So one-twelfth would be that answer. Now it does say to simplify. However, one-twelfth is already simplified. All right, let's look down here at the last part. All right. <clears throat> this one we have to answer with a fraction, but for this part, we do not simplify. There are three Jolly Ranchers and five Airheads. Okay, so all together, I have five, or not five, <laughs> eight candies. Ooh, silly me. All right. What is the probability of the first student choosing a Jolly Rancher? So let's just stop there. Jolly Rancher, well, three of the eight candies are Jolly Ranchers. So that's my first one here. Now, if that student takes away a Jolly Rancher, there's no longer eight candies to choose from. Now there's only seven. So then the probability of the second student choosing an airhead well, there's five of them out of the seven candies that are left. So for this um, part here, the denominator is going to decrease by one each time because something is being taken away. All right, so if we multiply straight across on top, three times five is 15, and eight times seven is 56. There you go.